Welcome to God's Handiwork, our daily devotional. Remember that you are God's handiwork, created in Jesus Christ, to do God's work, which God prepared in advance for you to do. This is Minister Alice from Dallas, Texas. Let's talk about the mercy of God. Mercy is the highest dimension of God's grace. Many times when you hear people say, mercy, mercy, they think when you say, God have mercy on me, is because you are a sinner, you're asking for forgiveness. No, that's not usually the case. When you say, God have mercy upon me, it's because many times we've reached the end and there's no one in this whole world who can help us, who can rescue us. So we are turning to God to ask him to have mercy upon us, upon a situation that we are going through, some intervention we need. We're asking God to have mercy, to come in and fight for us, to come in and resolve something. Having mercy is a high dimension of grace. Remember the story of the blind man, blind Bartimaeus. I think that story is in um, Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. And they came to Jericho, and as he was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, this is Jesus um, in Jericho with, with his disciples, but Timaeus, a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He kept screaming that, yelling out loud. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let's stop right there. Verses, we just read verses 46 through 48. This blind beggar, he was sitting on the roadside. The only way he was getting sustenance or his livelihood, having to be fed or whatever he needed just to live life was through people helping him. He was a beggar in the street, but he knew the power that Jesus Christ had. And that is why he was screaming to him saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy upon me. When I said, let's stop right there is because when we are in need, we need to cry out to God. Know that you are powerless. The next thing you need to do, acknowledgement first, Next thing is to ask. So when you cry and say, have mercy upon me, oh God, is because you need a change. Mercy is big. That touches the heart of God when you say, God, have mercy upon me. And you see this blind man who was helpless, was depending on everyone. He had come to the end of his road and he was like, my life will change now. I've heard about Jesus of Nazareth. He's the man that performs miracles. Let me cry out to him. Let me call him and see if he can change my circumstances. Verse 49. And Jesus stopped and said, call him. And they called the blind man saying to him, take heart, get up. He is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. Verse 51. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? Let's stop right there. 